After two and a half years of construction, the initial section of the East African Railway Network was launched in Kenya on May 31, 2017. The 480 kilometers long standard gauge railway links the port city of Mombasa and the capital, Nairobi. With joint effort of both countries, the SGR has deepened the friendship between China and Kenya and aligned the two countries' common vision of development. In January 2018, construction began on an extension of the Mombasa-Nairobi line, connecting the capital to the city of Malaba on the Ugandan border. Nearly 500 kilometers long, the Nairobi-Malaba line, it's built by the China Communications Construction Company and has been designed according to the first-class standards of the China National Railway. Passenger trains will travel at a designed at speed of 120 km per hour, while freight locomotives will reach 80 km an hour. Once the project is complete, the line will be extended to Lake Victoria, joining up with the rail networks in Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi and South Sudan. The Nairobi Malaba SGR project will be implemented in three phases. The first is the 120 km stretch from Nairobi to Naivasha, passing through Kajiado, Kiambu, Nakuru, and Narok. A total of five stations will be built along the route, including Ongata Rongai, Gong, Nachu, Aimaiu, and Suswa. At 6.58 kilometers, the superbridge transversing Nairobi National Park is the longest in the Nairobi Naivasha SGR project. In order to ensure the free movement of wildlife, the lowest pier of the bridge is 6 metres high and the highest 43 metres. In addition, it's equipped with a noise barrier to reduce the sound from the passing trains, minimising the disturbance to wild animals in the park. The construction process has been carried out methodically, section by section, to ensure the least disruption to the natural environment and landscape. The Gong Tunnel, four and a half kilometers long, is the longest railway tunnel in East Africa. It's situated along the eastern mountainous region of the Great Rift Valley. The construction has been complex and risky due to hazards such as landslides and rockfalls. Despite the geological challenges, the team completed the tunnel in September 2018. The Nairobi Malaba SGR project has created numerous employment opportunities. Approximately 11,000 Kenyans have been working on this phase of the ambitious initiative. Local technicians and managers account for around 45% of all employees. Overall, the project has created more than 26,000 local jobs. There were a lot of young boys and also women, young girls, who did not have jobs. But CCC, when it came, it was able to employ more than 1,200 people who got jobs with CCC. And these people got some money or income that they were able to take back to their families, to feed their families, to buy food, and even to buy clothing. Engineers from China Communications Construction Company have shared their knowledge and experience with the Kenyan employees. More than 20,000 locals have received training in various aspects of railway construction. Not even me, even my colleagues, have gained a lot of experience and a lot of skills. For example, when to come to technical skills, most of the employees, now they, are, they can uh, they can identify and analyze the database of the TV. China Communications Construction Company has actively involved local suppliers and subcontractors in the project. At present, it has cooperated agreements with more than 400 equipment and material suppliers, as well as service providers across Kenya. It has also subcontracted about 100 engineering firms. The construction of the railway has contributed to the development of related industries, such as construction, cement, steel, and oil in Kenya. So this project is very transformational, not only for the country, uh, also for the industry, and also for our key suppliers. People, especially here in Kenya, they think otherwise of the Chinese, but they are the best to work with. Yes, Chinese are the best to work with. 
Most of the construction sites are in remote areas where there's little or no road infrastructure. As part of the SGR project, China Communications Construction Company employees built roads and dug wells, contributing to ease of access, travel and available water supplies in these rural areas. In my community at Kimuga, there is a major water problem. But since the SGR was constructed, they started constructing the SGR, they have been assisting us in supplying water to Maasai villages, also to various schools like Kimuga Primary School. China Communications Construction Company has also supported education in surrounding communities, building classrooms, donating textbooks and other learning materials to schools, increasing educational opportunities for children and vulnerable groups. The Nairobi Malava SGR is a valuable addition to transportation routes in northern Kenya. It's set to reduce the cost of cross border logistics, promote the integration of East African nations, and inject momentum into the development of the entire region. SDR is going to start trade within the countries, uh, within Kenya, and uh, far wider economic regions like Uganda, Tanzania, uh, Democratic Republic of, of Republic of Congo, Rwanda, Burundi. The Nairobi Malaba SGR is part of both China's Belt and Road Initiative and Kenya's Vision 2030. It highlights the deepening strategic cooperation between the two governments and symbolizes the growing friendship between the two nations. As Chinese President Xi Jinping says, the achievements are inspiring and motivating. In addition to completing high-quality projects, China Communications Construction Company will forge ahead with the development of Kenya's economy, renew the sustained advancement of the SGR network, and build a community of shared future. <laughs>